So what we have going on here is a pretty interesting dynamic. Now, uh, there's a lot of three-leaf plants out there that resemble poison ivy, and it can be really nice to know the difference between poison ivy and things that are not poison ivy. Uh, I'm allergic to poison ivy, so I share the same uh, hatred for the plant that many other people do. Um, so, there's one plant that is really commonly confused with poison ivy among many other three-leaf plants. Uh, if you are allergic to poison ivy, though, it is a good general rule just to avoid three-leaf plants. Uh, if you avoid all three-leaf plants, you're not going to get the rash. Awesome. So what we have here is we have two different plants, and they're literally growing side by side. Which of these two is poison ivy, and which of these two is box elder? Don't know? All right. So here's the, the simplest way to d distinguish the two of them. One, box elder is a tree. So box elder will grow up like a tree. Poison ivy is a vine. The um, easiest way to tell the two apart, you do unfortunately have to get kind of close, but in their sapling state, box elder leaves are op opposite each other. That means that going up the stem of the tree, there's going to be two leaves coming off of each side. Two leaf branches on each side directly, directly opposite of each other. With the poison ivy, it's going to be alternating. So you have a stem here, a stem here, and a stem here. That's all it is. Now, uh, poison ivy leaves are identifiable, um, although looking at the box elder and looking at the poison ivy, they look nearly identical. And it's really easy to mix the two up. But uh, with the poison ivy leaves, they are frequently deeply toothed, but they are never serrated. And also, when poison ivy is growing up the tree and it's more mature, um, it has a fuzzy vine as well as um, poison ivy having white berries in the fall. Now box elder on the other hand does actually have a few uses unlike with poison ivy which would be poisoning your enemies which I don't recommend but that would be a pretty terrible way to go. Um, so with box elder you can use the inner bark from the mature tree as a, uh, a form of cordage much like with cedar and um, other fibrous trees and you can also use the leaves topically as a um, sort of a poultice for uh, sunburns and stuff. And you can also make an immersion of the leaves, boil it, make a sort of a tea out of it, and uh, use that as a, um, a metric or a vomit inducer. So um, you've eaten something that you know you probably shouldn't have, eat a little bit of charcoal, then you drink this. Charcoal will help to absorb the toxins and this will help to make you throw up. So just that quick little uh, deal there, these are two really uh, similar plants and I have personally met a lot of people that confuse the two of them together to the point of wiping out every single box elder that they see, which being as allergic as they do, I totally understand it. But anyway, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you haven't already, hit that bell ding ling icon down below. You'll get notified every single time that I upload a new video. And I will see you guys next week.